Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, Council, Mayor, Treasurer, audience. This is the City of Romulus City Council regular meeting for Monday, July 25th, 2016, and the roll will show that all members of Council are present. Mr. Chair and Council, I'm asking uh, for an amendment of the agenda tonight. Uh, the first amendment would be to remove um, 3A, one of the petitioners uh, did not uh, make it this evening. Um, and also under the mayor's report, line item five, we're asking that uh, line item 5F be moved up uh, to the first line of action under the mayor's report. So with those changes, I'm asking that um, for an amendment uh, to the tonight's agenda, which is number one, agenda, number two, minutes, three, petitioner, four, chairperson's report, five, mayor's report, 6A clerk's report, 6B treasurer's report, 7 public comment, 8 unfinished business, 9 new business, 10 communication, 11 is warrant 16-14 and number 12 adjournment. And a motion being ordered to accept the amended agenda as presented. So moved. Support. It's been motioned by Mr. Crop, supported by Ms. Abdo for approval of the, of the agenda as presented. Amended it agenda. Mr. Crow. Yes. Ms. Abdo. Yes. Ms. Choke. Yes. Ms. Mikowski. Yes. Ms. Roscoe. Yes. Mr. Wadsworth. Yes. Chair votes yes. Agenda approved. 2A for approval of the minutes from the regular council meeting held on July 11, 2016. So move for July the 11th, 2016. Support. Been motioned by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Abdo. And this is for the approval of the minutes from the regular council meeting, which was held July 11th, 2016. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Chair votes yes, and motion is approved. There were no special meetings held on July 11th. Uh, number three of the petitioners, and under line 3B, we have Mr. Ray Parker. This is... Uh, 2015-029-030 Michigan Components located at 28111 North Line. This is a special land use request for a contractor storage yard. We have Mr. Parker. Yes, Mr. Parker. Hi, I'm Ray Parker with Hennessy Engineers. Um, I've been working with the owner of Michigan Components to bring their site plan into compliance. Uh, working through the Planning Commission to get all the approvals for their outdoor storage yard. And we're looking to keep moving so that we can get pavement done and start getting the landscaping up to um, standards and just keep moving forward. Any, uh, any discussion? No discussion? Do we need a motion? I'll make that motion. Okay. I'll make right. a motion to approve PC-2015-029-030 <laughs> Michigan Components at uh, address 28111 North Line, special land use request for a contractor storage yard. Support. Okay, it's been motioned by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Ms. Choke. And this is for approval of the pc 2015-029-030 Michigan Components, which address of 28111 North Line. This is special land use request for a contractor <laughs> storage yard. Any discussion? Yes, Ms. Mikowski. Uh, the only comment I have to make is uh, good job with, with the work you've done. Thank you. As well as the Planning Commission and the City Hall, so thank you. Okay. It's been motioned by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Ms. Choke. Uh, Ms. Roscoe? 
Yes. Mr. Cho? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Crop? Yes. Mr. Abdo? Yes. Yeah, both yes and motion approved. Thank you very much. Thank you. Number four is the chairperson's report. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, the chair is going to recognize uh, Councilwoman Roscoe at this time. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to approve the Wickham Road Water Main Improvement Contract with Blue Ribbon Contracting. Support. It's been motioned by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Mr. Wadsworth, and this is to, uh, to approve the Wickham Road Water Main Improvement Contract with Blue Ribbon Contracting. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. You have votes yes and motion approved. Also, the chair going to recognize Councilwoman Mikowski. Thank you. Um, I'd like uh, to make a motion that we approve the settlement of a claim by Infinity in, the, in an amount not to exceed $2,000. Support. It's been motioned by Ms. Mikowski, supported by Ms. Roscoe. And this is to approve the settlement of the claim by Infinity not to exceed $2,000. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Um, over the weekend, it's been a pretty busy weekend. A lot of good things happened in the city of Romulus. Uh, just to name some of them, I tried to attend some, and uh, we had some beautiful hot weather. I love that. Every time I see hot weather, it reminds me of me trying to shovel snow in the wintertime. <laughs> and I really appreciate the hot weather. Um, I know APA had their thing this weekend, uh, which was very nice. And uh, I had a lot of good food there. And also, Sounds of Downtown had a really nice thing. I stopped by there and, and, and a lot of nice turnout there, and really good turnout. Um, this is what I want to do. A lot of people is going to say that, uh, you know, we had a baseball game of uh, City versus uh, the John C. Lodge. And we were lucky, uh, we won again. But see, it's not who win or lose. It's how you play the game. And the game was played with a lot of friendship, laughs, love. That's what it was all about. I used to get on the, and tease John C. Lodge about beating them all the time. That was just to keep interesting, you know, grudge match and keep it interesting. But you never will find a good club, or organization like the Lodge, which helps our community here in Romulus, whether it's through the school system or any system that helps our community. And what a great organization to belong to. And I really appreciate the guys, and I know the city, and the council, and the mayor, clerk, and treasurer, everyone appreciate the Lodge because they do so much for this community. And I just want everybody if any large member watching, their family members, we'd like to give y'all a big round of applause. Um, with that, that's going to conclude the chairperson's report. Well, uh, just I, a minute before that, uh, I'm going to recognize Councilman Wadsworth. Uh, if I could, I would like a memorial resolution for Lee Pribell and I'll expand on it if get support. Motion. Uh, Lee uh, passed away on July the 23rd at the very young age of 48 years old, unfortunately. And uh, he, was the, um, he was the son of Mike and Midge Pribilla. And of course, we know Mike was a former councilman. I served with him. And he's currently on the planning commission. And Midge is on the library board, and I served with her. And the uh, Pribillas right now are in a, a, a lot of pain, and I'm I'm sure they're hurting. Um, the uh, viewing is going to be tomorrow at Cranes from 12 till 8 with a mass on Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. at St. Al 
at St. Alan Wishes. And uh, keep the Pribilla family in your prayers. And Mike and Midge, I feel for you. Thank you. Uh, also, uh, I know it's, it's always hard when you lose uh, one of your children. Uh, I, I can imagine how they feel, uh, anybody that loses a family member. As you know, I lost a lot of family members. And it's really, it's really, uh, it's tough. So the prayers go out to the Probellas. God know they, they got to be hurting now and, and just keep them in your prayers and, you know, do any, what you can if you can. Now with that, that concludes the uh, chairperson report. I vote, got a vote, vote chair. It's been motioned by Mr. Wadsworth and was supported by Ms. Roscoe to accept the chairperson's report. John, you got to vote on the memorial resolution. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I get caught up in the, the death, so you have to excuse me. I, uh, it's been motioned. Uh, Mr. Wadsworth was reported by, uh, supported by Ms. Roscoe for a memorial resolution for Lee Prabrella. Mr. Wadsworth. Yes. Ms. Roscoe. Yes. Ms. Mikowski. Yes. Mr. Kraut. Yes. Ms. Cho. Yes. Ms. Abdo. Yes. Chair votes yes. That motion is approved. Now we'll. No, I'll make a motion to accept your report. I'll support that. Okay. It's been motioned by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Ms. Cho. To accept the chairperson's report, Ms. Roscoe, yes. Ms. Cho, yes. Ms. Mikowski, yes. Mr. Wadsworth, yes. Mr. Kraut, yes. Mr. Abdo, yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved, and thank you. Number five is the mayor's report. Good evening, council, uh, treasurer, clerk, deputy clerk, uh, audience, and special guests tonight. I always start off with a quote, and this one, uh, Mr. Chairman, kind of like you, I was doing my prep for this yesterday, and. Uh, you know, the whole family and death, and it, it does choke you up. And so this one, believe it or not, this one came from Desmond Tutu, but it tied into the message I wanted to tie in, which is you don't choose your family. They're God's gift to you as you are to them. And, uh, you know, during these times, boy, you got to love your family, you know. Uh, enjoy your family. Enjoy your family at these events. Enjoy every day, every hour, every minute we have with them because life is short. So um, enjoy your family, and uh, also stay cool. It's hot out. I know we have uh, we have posted uh, cooling centers, but with this heat, uh, it can take its toll on the elderly and the young and, and all, so just be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to run a quick video clip. If we could, Roger, then I'll get into my report. If we could, Roger, then I'll... Good evening. Here are the news and views this week around Romulus. The farmer's market continues on Wednesdays from noon until 6 p.m., Sounds in downtown is into its final month. Concerts will be every Friday in August, beginning with the Rick Leiter Band on August the 5th. At the August 12th Sounds in downtown, there will be a special event we're calling Cruise Night. We're inviting all Romulus alumni and band geeks to show our support for Mr. Dick Cruz, longtime band director in Romulus. Our free movie in the park will be this Friday, July the 29th, featuring the movie Zootopia. The Romulus Chamber of Commerce is planning a special trip to Comerica Park on Tuesday, August the 2nd. The Romulus Veterans Committee is holding their second annual Roman Chrome Poker Fundraiser on August the 6th. Remember to stay tuned in following this meeting for our complete news show or visit our website for more information on any events and programs we mentioned today. I'm Dennis Davidson. Thanks and have a great week. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks, Roger. Uh, now on my report, as it was, thank you for amending the agenda. Uh, I want to start with item 5F, and um, we have a couple people here. Tim Keyes is now the project manager on this, and uh, we have uh, Judge Green, Judge Parrott, Judge Oakley, um, Al Hinman. Uh, we have Plant Moran here as well, uh, Stacy Reeves, Frank Audia, our finance, our planning. We're, uh, we're loaded up if, you, if need be. I know we've already had study sessions on this and discussion, but I thought maybe, Tim, you could frame the issue. You have the agreement and then uh, try to move forward. Good evening. Uh, this is the same document that we brought in front of you at the end of June. Uh, it is the mem memorandum of understanding between the court and the city in terms of how we're going to move forward on the financing of it, how we're going to pay for the bond for this project. Uh, it's the understanding of architects, selection of the contractor. 
I mean, in essence, it's a four or five page document that uh, uh, just tells us how we behave and how we move forward. It is a framework, as Tim said. We will, there will be steps coming back, obviously, to council for other approvals, but as you know from our study session, we are no longer pursuing a remodel of the current uh, building. We are looking at a new standalone building on this campus that's based on this framework of this agreement. Questions? Uh, Mr. Wadsworth. Uh, the only <coughs> difference being now, the difference from 11 to 14, the court will continue to make longer payments. <coughs> Uh, to it, us yeah as the mayor said we're no longer going going to renovate we are going to build new so we've actually pushed that cost to 14 million dollars uh, for the new construction yes and uh, the, the fuff fees stay the same where the fuff fees are going is actually memorialized in the contract will be put aside in a separate account and it's going to be built over here and there's no general fund money being used for that is correct. at all, which, are the, which is the property taxes people pay on their homes. The plan would be to have that as starting in July as we're accumulating that fuff fee in the separate account as we go through, obviously next year as we go through that process, whatever's in that will also then be able to be used towards that building as well. Is there, is there, is there anything in this language that guarantees the court will be here in 25 years? A guarantee the court will be here in 25 yes, years? Yeah. Uh, I guess that's probably a question for the attorney who wrote up for the, the 30 document. years or whatever <laughs> years. <laughs> won't be, well, I won't be here either, probably. But. Right. Country might not be here. Well, that's not the point I'm we, trying we could, to make. I think what you're going at. And what, what that's, that's not the comical yeah, we, point I'm trying to make The here. whole purpose of this is the city wants the court to stay in no, Romulus, and we're going to no, do we everything want we can to help that happen. And, and right, my so commitment is to build that court, a new court, so it will meet their expectations. The funding and the dollar amount that we came up with is based on, you know, what we feel we can afford based on those funding fees. And we no longer have to hear of it. Do they want to go to Belleville or Huron or anywhere else? They're here to stay, correct? Never want to go to Belleville. I didn't say you did, Judge. I, I didn't say you did. I, I said that. Hello, order, please. Talk. <clears throat> what this document does is creates an understanding between the court and the city that that we want to be a cooperative with each Very other and I think that one of the main reasons and you asked are, are we going to be here in 25 years I think that this document will represent the intent when the city bonded the money and the intent of the court so I do think that it's a good um, framework to point back to in 25 years although the building will be paid off and maybe you'll want to get rid of us then uh -huh. but but the fact of the matter is is I think that it's a good framework to start from of this is what the parties intended in 2016 when they broke ground or in 2017 when they broke ground that th th the court was to stay in the city of Romulus with Romulus maintaining the funding unit. I'm and glad to hear that. that. I Thank think you. the intent's really important in this situation. Thank you, Your Honor. I do too. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Ms. Abdel? Yes, I'm glad that the judges are all comfortable with this pro program. I like the fact that we went back, you took went back and took a look at this, that perhaps the renovation wasn't really going to help us because we really do have to plan for the future. And it looks like that's what we're doing here, planning exactly. for the future. So thank you. And another thing, uh, judges, I'm glad that uh, you consider staying in Romulus here. Very important for us to have a nice court like you guys here, represent Romulus and be the hometown here in Romulus. Thank you. Right. Any other? Any other questions, comments? Comments, questions? If not, then uh, what I have before you, Council, is I have a request to concur with the administration authorized the mayor and clerk to enter into the attached memorandum of understanding between the City of Romulus and 34th District Court for the purpose of pursuing the construction of a new 34th District Court facility in the City of Romulus and the agreements attached. I'll make the motion. House part. It's been motioned by Ms. Makowski, supported by Mr. Kraut. To concur with the administration authorized the mayor and clerk to enter into the attached memorandum of understanding between the city of Romulus and the 34th District Court for the purpose of pursuing the construction of a new 34th District Court facility in the city of Romulus. Mrs. Makowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Mr. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Choke? Yes. Mr. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council, and thank you. Judges and 
administrator, appreciate it. Uh, next item up, uh, kind of back to the flow is uh, 5A that you have before you. Uh, and this is a, a normal request. This is the uh, just the Senior Alliance multi-year and annual imp implementation plan for 2017. I'll make a motion that we approve that. Support. Been motioned by Ms. Mikowski, supported by Ms. Abdo. And this is to concur with the administration adopted resolution in support of the Senior Alliance's annual implementation plan for aging service for fiscal year 2017 as presented. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wisworth? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council. Uh, next item is 5B, and that's a request to concur with the administration and authorize the mayor and clerk to enter into the attached ongoing services contract with MKSK Studios uh, for basic uh, transportation planning and consulting. So, so move, uh, Mr. Chairman. For for the uh, ongoing service contract with MKSK Studio. Support. It's been motioned by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Roscoe to concur with the administration. And this is for the authorization of the mayor and clerk to enter into the attached ongoing services contract with MKSK. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Council. Uh, next item up is uh, item C, and that's a request to concur with the administration and adopt the attached resolution supporting uh, the establishment of an industrial district for <coughs> BKG uh, Warman LLC. Motion. Support. The motion by Ms. Mikowski, supported by Ms. Roscoe, and this is to concur with the administration and adopt the attached resolution supporting the establishment of an industrial district for BKG. Warman LLC. Any discussion? No discussion. Mr. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council. Uh, next item is the introduction of a budget amendment. Uh, and this is a request to utilize existing funds from the uh, elimination of a full time benefited community service director position within the 1617 budget and for the purpose of hiring a part time human resource director. Uh, there is uh, no impact on the general fund balance. So moved, budget amendment 16 forward slash 17 dash 5. Support. The motion by Ms. Mikowski, supported by Ms. Roscoe. This is to utilize existing funding from the elimination of a full time benefited community services director position within the 1617 budget for the purpose of hiring a part time human resource director. In discussion. Here now, Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council. Uh, item E is also an introduction. Uh, and this is a request to recognize additional construction engineering costs associated with the Wickham Road project and the offset of the reimbursable revenues from the Michigan Department of Transportation. Make that motion. Supported. The motion by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Mr. Wadsworth, to recognize additional construction engineering costs associated with the Wickham Road project and the offset of the reimbursable revenues from the Michigan Department of Transportation. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council. That concludes my report. 6A is the clerk's report. 6A1 for second reading and final adoption is Budget Amendment 16 slash 17 dash 4 general fund in the amount of $77,000. This is to move unused funding from the 1516 budget year to complete the purchase of the police body cameras. This budget amendment was introduced at the July 11th council meeting. So moved. Support. The motion by Mr. Kowski is supported by Mr. Kraut for second reading and final adoption of the budget amendment 16 slash 17 dash 4 general fund for $77,000. Mr. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Mr. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. 
Ms. Cho? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Your vote yes. A motion approved. 6A2. This is a study session request. Uh, Deputy Fire Chief Kevin Krause is requesting a one hour study session with council on Monday, August 8th, 2016 at 6.30 p.m. This is to discuss the usage and leasing of Fire Station 1. The date and time uh, requested, um, they are available. So move for the study session on August the 8th at 6.30 in so regards far. to Fire Station 1. <laughs> The motion by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Abdo, and this is for the study session request for Monday, August the 8th, 2016, to discuss uses and leasing of the fire department, fire station number one, and that's at 6.30 p.m. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. So? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Chair votes yes, we will have our study session. And the last item under the clerk's report, um, this is a request for the approval um, for the annual city fall no fee yard sale. Um, the dates are as follows, uh, September 22nd through September 25th, uh, with rain dates for September 29th through August the 2nd, and that's 2016. Mr. Chairman? I'm yes, sorry, Mr. October. I'd like sure. to make that uh, motion that we approve the Annual City Fall no fee yard sale dates on Support. September 22nd through 25th. Um, and uh, the rain date September 29th through October 2nd. The second on that? Yeah. Here it is. Here. A motion by Ms. Ms. Choke, supported by Mr. Kraut. And this is for the request approval for the annual City Fall no fee yard sale dates in September. 22nd through the 25th with rain dates September the 29th through October the 2nd. Ms. Choke? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Yeah, votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you. That concludes the clerk's report. 6B is a treasurer's report. Good evening. I do not have any items under my report. Thank you. Thank you. Number seven is public comment, and this is a portion of our agenda, which is set aside for those um, in the audience. If you would like to have comments, please raise your hand. After you've been acknowledged by the chair, um, state your name and your address, and we ask that you please limit your comments to three minutes. Um, if you have questions or concerns that need to be addressed, addressed by our city council, um, that may be done under um, the line item eight under unfinished business. We do not have any written requests. Are there any uh, comments from the audience? Uh, yes. Uh, citizens of Romulus, Gina Wilson Stewart, 0748 West San River Road. I had two questions, simple question. Um, on by about the position moving from a full time benefits person to a part time resources director, a resources person now? We'll, we'll address that on unfinished business. Okay, and then the second part to that is it the same salary range going from a full time to a part time <coughs> to that? <coughs> and then the other question had to deal with the courthouse. And a couple of the other cities that we're <coughs> that are represented in the telegram as well, the court is in Lincoln Park, and serves River Road as well as E Court. And Lincoln Park, well, the judge came over to River Road to let us know they want to build a new court. Same thing, they want to build a new <coughs> courthouse in Lincoln Park were not, you know, they weren't all excited about it because they said, well, now's the opportunity to get a court in our city. So it may not go as smoothly as it went here. So my, my question to you guys, I know this is like, this has been going on for a while. When this was first brought up, the other cities express any interest in having courts in their cities as well? And then Rama's just won out 
Unfinished business. You gonna address it now? Or unfinished business? Unfinished business. Because I see the same thing happening, so I just wanted to be able to get them some feedback because they just came like three, three weeks ago. So I just wanted to see what I can share with them. Only two questions. Thank you. Any other comments from the audience? No other comments? Madam Clerk, we'll close the part out. Number eight is unfinished business. Chairman, I can yes. try to uh, answer council's questions on that that came through the uh, audience. On the HR position, it's a part-time position. If you recall, that was uh, part of the chief of staff's assignment before. Uh, when I made the new assignment uh, that was determined that we were going to go to a part-time person, that was reflected in the change in salary uh, with the new chief of staff and also the elimination of a position was then, so basically there's no additional revenue or budget dollars that we're looking for. It's changing where the dollars are coming from because that is a new position for my administration. If you recall, the prior administration had a full-time uh, benefited uh, HR person, uh, and I chose to do things different when I came into office with a uh, chief of staff covering that part of it. Um, as far as the court, there's really two things with the court. As far as uh, we are the host community uh, for the five communities that are involved. So with Van Buren, uh, Belleville, uh, Sumter, and Huron, uh, as well as really the airport too. But we, we are operating under an agreement that was established in 1998 uh, that was signed uh, by the parties of those five communities that would deem Romulus the host community and we would get the fines and forfeitures from that. Uh, the agreement that came before us today was the building of a new court uh, because they basically have a tremendous need to expand that they can't handle with that. So what we basically did was uh, allow for, kind of as Tim Key said, the framework to start that process. So that was really just to make sure on their side and our side we have a framed agreement that's going to outline what we're doing moving forward. There'll be several other action items that will come back to, to this council for approval as we move forward. So as we're going into uh, designs and selecting architects and bonds and others, those will continue to come back to this body. But kind of the, the establishment of the court was done then. Uh, you know, they, there was really no discussion with any other communities because we're still working under that same agreement. Nor did I want to have any discussion with any other communities about that. My intention all along with the judges is to keep that court here. And that's what you just confirmed tonight. So thank you. Is there any more unfinished business? Number nine is new business. <coughs> Number 10 is communication. Ms. Ms. Mikowski. I'll just give a quick update from the library on some of the activities they've got going on this month. Of course, Wednesdays at 10.30 a.m., the parent-child interactive story time continues, and that's on a weekly basis. Um, also, too, on the 1st, 15th, 22nd, and 29th, the Garden Club meets at the library at 5 p.m. Friends of the Library meeting is on the second Monday of the 8th at 5.45. And directly following that is the second Monday book club at 7 p.m. So we've got uh, Lego, <coughs> Lego Club on the 10th at 4 p.m. And then Adult Coloring Club Saturday the 20th, noon to 3. Come and relieve some stress. And that's, that's it for me. Thank you. Mr. Chair? Yes. Um, we have a resolution um, or asking council to adopt a resolution um, this is for celebrating a wedding anniversary 63 years for mr. and mrs. Everett someone could I'll make, make that motion. motion I'll support it okay it's been motioned by Ms. Mikowski supported by mr. Wadsworth for the 63 63rd Wedding anniversary. wedding anniversary for Miss Everett. Wow, that's a nice time. Uh, Miss Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Crop? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Any more communication? If not, number 11 for approval is warrant 16 14. Mr. Chairman? Yes, Ms. Choke? I'd like to make a motion that we pay warrant 16-14 in the following amounts. 
general fund, $186,738.04. Um, Major street fund, $71,382.85. Local street fund, $4,628. Cable TV, $9,113. Merriman Road Special Assessment, $15,547.04. Oakwood SAD, uh, $268.09. Garbage and Rubbish Collection Fund, $160,604.63. 9 -1 -1 Service Fund, $140.40. Narcotics forfeitures for state, $29.65. Library fund, $9,035.34. DDA, $15,060.15. Water and sewer fund, $1,231,845.22. Motor vehicle, $22,342.98. Technology services, $24,162.32. Retirees insurance benefits, $168,779.24. Property and liability self-insurance, $7,769. Revolving fund, $6,701.26. General tax fund, $58,143.05. Current tax, $540,531.94. Delinquent personal property fund, $21,048.29. Payroll fund, $195,773.80. For grand total of all funds, $2,749,644.26. This has been motioned by Ms. Choke, supported by Ms. Makowski, to pay warrant number 16-14 for $2,749,644.29. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Makowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Warrant number 16-14 will be paid. Number 12 is adjournment. So moved. Support. It's been motioned by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Roscoe for adjournment. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. We are adjourned. Thank you.